In this video, I'm going to show you what happens when a horror artist transforms six different emojis into horror abominations. I've divided my page up into six boxes. Each box is split in half. Split in half? That sounds way too aggressive. I didn't use an axe, just a pencil and ruler. Settle down, mate. The first half of each drawing will be as the emoji is intended. I'll be trying to do it crisp, smooth, just like you see the emojis on your phone or your computer or maybe even your parents iPad if you're one of those young people watching this video who probably shouldn't be. Why did you click on this video? Anyway, the second half is going to be a horror transformation getting inspiration from different things such as cryptids, horror video games and even manga. See if you can guess the references before they're finished. If you can figure them all out, I'll be rather impressed. If you enjoy horror content like this and want to support the channel, you can do so by subscribing, leaving a comment and a thumbs up. Any of that stuff really helps out in the algorithm, but most importantly, I hope you enjoy the video. Also, I'm on Instagram if you want to follow me there for the occasional upload of creepy drawings that will freak you out when you least expect it when they show up on your Insta feed. Anyway, back to this video. Have you figured out the character yet? Quick, it's nearly done. I decided to transform the screaming emoji into the creepy monster from Amnesia. His goggly eyes and wide mouth lent itself perfectly to this emoji. It looks quite comical now, even though there's blood and gore and it should be creepy, it kind of just looks funny, like he's looked in the mirror and realised his hand is severed and oh my god it's rather ouchies. Next up we've got a stinker of an emoji and if my pet dogs could choose one emoji to spam in chat it would definitely be this one. Just as well they're cute because damn it they drop more chocolate soft serves than McDonald's on a hot summer's day. I transformed this chocolate soft serve into Chica's Shadow Cupcake from Five Nights at Freddy's. It looks delicious. Who wants a bite? The next transformation will be of the smiling cat emoji. There's a bunch of good transformation options for this one, but I already know what I want to do. I bet you'll be able to guess this one pretty quick.
this transformation is based off Trevor Henderson's Cartoon Cat. He's got so many cool creations, you definitely should check him out if you enjoy cryptids and horror art. What's that peaceful, childlike music? Ah, I think it's time for a wholesome drawing. One for the whole family to enjoy. So for this transformation we've got the emoji on the left and then a more realistic representation of what a baby looks like in real life on the right. I'm just kidding. Or am I? This transformation is based off The Baby in Yellow, which is a horror video game. This next drawing is from a suggestion of one of my followers. I thought it was a cool idea and hopefully you enjoy how it turns out. If you have suggestions for drawings that you'd like to see me do in the future, feel free to drop them in the comments. I do look at comments, I don't get to reply to everything, but if I see some cool ideas that get lots of upvotes, it's definitely something I can consider doing in a future video. I've transformed this really sly looking moon emoji, which is creepy in itself, into the even more creepy moon from Majora's Mask. I just love this transformation, I love the vibe of it, and it was a fun one to do, so thank you so much for the suggestion, you know who you are. Up next is the final transformation for this video, I hope you've enjoyed the drawing so far, and this final emoji is... One which I used to misinterpret, it's the eye rolling emoji. I used to think it was an emoji of just looking upwards. So I've definitely used it in some inappropriate situations, but now I know. I'm gonna finish up the smooth blending on this side before getting into a more detailed transformation on the flip side.
For the eye-rolling emoji, I couldn't go past a Junji Ito reference, where the eyeball is literally rolling inside the spiral eye socket. This one just seemed fitting to me. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more horror content from me. Also, a massive thank you to all of my amazing patrons. I really do appreciate it. Some of you guys have been supporting me from the very beginning of my Patreon, which is amazing. See you in the next ring video, bye.